Hello, my name's James Mayhew and welcome to my studio. This is where I illustrate all my books, including my newest book, which is called Once Upon a Tune. Now, this is a very special book for me because, as many of you know, for many years I've been working with orchestras and musicians to create illustrations live on stage in time to the music. And along with this, I've also found some of the fantastic stories that have inspired those composers to write the music in the first place. And now I've collected together six of my favourites and put them all into one book. Today I'm going to be telling you about the first story in the book. It's called The Sorcerer's Apprentice. The early morning sunlight fell upon dusty shelves and cobwebby bottles and moved slowly across the floor. The sorcerer's tower was unusually quiet, as if waiting for something to happen. In this story we meet a young boy who's gone to live with a wizard or sorcerer, which sounds pretty exciting, but it turns out to be quite dull because the wizard never lets him do any magic. Until one day when the wizard goes out and leaves the boy on his own. The boy discovers the wizard has left his book of spells behind. The wizard has also left a list of tasks for the boy to do, including filling the cauldron with water from the river. A hard, difficult job the boy does not want to do. So he uses the book of spells to cast some magic onto a broomstick. And the broom comes alive, carries a bucket to the river and fetches the water for him. But the spell didn't include any way of making the broom stop. And so even though the cauldron is now full, the broom keeps on bringing more and more water into the castle. In desperation, the boy takes an axe and cuts the broom in half. But then to his surprise, both halves of the broom grow legs and arms and get buckets and go and fetch even more water from the river and pour it into the castle, which is soon flooded. All of this is brilliantly described in the fabulous music by Paul Dukan. Well, to find out what happened, you'll have to read the book, which is out in September from Otter Barry Books. Now, I'm going to be making some other films about the other stories in the book. There'll be six films altogether, so watch out for them, see if you can watch them all. Thanks for joining me. Bye.